Hello everyone, I'm Camila Rojas, a sociologist from the Catholic University of Chile, and today I'm going to present you this study that I co-authored with Pablo Vitia from the Catholic University of Chile too, and Carlos Cruz from the Sapienza University of Rome. Our research is called Social Memory About People from a Country, the Case of Notable Chileans in Wikipedia. And it was funded by the 2023 version of Wikimedia Research Fund. To provide some context, Wikipedia is a massive repository of information containing over 6.2 million biographies in more than 320 languages. These biographies are about people considered notable, meaning they have reached certain conditions established by Wikipedia to be eligible for a biography on the platform. The information that is allocated in Wikipedia is very influential. Wikipedia receives over 4 million visits monthly and in the category of online reference material, it is globally the most visited platform. Also, large companies such as Google and Meta use Wikipedia information to define real facts and train AI models. These geographies are influential in shaping the social memory of a country. They serve as a collective memory of notable individuals, influencing how societies remember and interpret the lives of these notable people. This raises the question, how is this information structured in a specific country? To answer this question, our research focuses on two main objectives. The first one is to analyze the social memory of Chileans in Wikipedia. And the second one is to document the process of analysis so it can be replicated uh, for any country. About our approach, we see the social memory of Wikipedia biographies as a complex phenomenon composed of multiple dimensions of information. Our analysis focuses on a speciality, where were the notables born, temporality, when did they live, attributes, what is their gender, occupation, etc. Semantics, what is told about them, associativity, with what content are they associated, and finally, multilinguality in what languages is their life written. Uh, the methods we use for the analysis are first, data mining, through queries to Wikidata uh, database and scraping Wikipedia biographies pages. We collected information on all Chilean nationals and Chilean born notables, including name, gender, birth, death, occupations, and the number of biography languages. Then we have um, occupation classification. Originally, the notables had 699 occupations. Drawing from existing literature, we identified 13 broad occupational categories. We then used um, GPT 3.5 to automatically classify these original occupations into 13 general categories. The prompt given to GPT 3.5 included a request to assign a certainty score from zero to 100 for each classification. These certainty scores were then used uh, during the manual verification process, allowing us to prioritize and efficiently review the classifications. Then we have the natural language processing, a specifically named entity recognition was used to identify the most mentioned people, organizations, places, and events. For this, we used a FLIR Python library. Then we have the network analysis. Hyperlinks of each biography were extracted to analyze the links and clusters between biographies. And finally, we we have data, data visualization. We created graphs and a dashboard to interactively analyze social memory in Chile. Now that we have outlined our approach and methods, here are the results. About biographical structures, looking at figure A, we observe a notable peak in biographies of notable individuals born around the 80s. Figure B highlights an interesting trend. Between 1890 and 1970, there was a steady increase in the proportion of biographies about females. Moving on to figure C, 
Earlier, the case showed a dominance of military personnel and lawyers, while closer to the 2000, sportsmen and artists emerged as the primary focus of biographies. Figure D reveals that the average levels of multilinguality have remained relatively stable across generations. And in figure E, we explore the networks of hyperlinks mentioned in each biography. Lastly, figure F uncovers a geographical concentration in women's biographies compared to men's. Then about semantics, results show that biographies in an occupational dimension tend to mention people from their same dimension. In this case, the results for people are shown, but it is possible to delve into the other three types of entities too. And at last, here is the dashboard that we built to navigate through the Chilean social memory. To conclude, uh, there are some highlights. First, about the time dimension, our analysis reveals a significant concentration of notables born in the 20th century. About gender, over time, we see a consistent dominance of notable men. However, there has been a notable increase in the proportion of biographies about women since the end of the 19th century. About occupations, historically, figures from professions of as politicians, military personnel, and lawyers dominated. However, in more recent decades, there has been a shift towards a focus on sportsmen and artists. And about multilinguality, our analysis reveals that average levels of multilinguality have remained stable throughout the generations. And finally, about the semantics dimension, Biographies within specific occupational dimensions tend to mention individuals from the same dimension. This semantic trend underscores the interconnectedness and coherence of biographical narratives within occupational contexts.